So, here today we are going to uh, take a quick look at my Lincoln with my new meter. Since COVID struck the house that my family and I live in, um, I haven't really made a video. I think I made one really quick and to show it to a, a, a Facebook friend, radio friend, brother. Um, if my voice starts to crack, forgive me. <laughs> Um, nothing I can do about it. So for right now, here we are going into this MFJ 300 watt dummy load. And <clears throat> I'm going to set this out of the way for now. Here's the meter. Doesn't matter what frequency I am on, anywhere this radio will go. And just a little FYI, I have already, I have already done a test of AM, FM, upper and lower sideband and this radio seems to be very broadband <laughs> of course I'm not surprised it seems to be operating um, from top to bottom and everywhere in between that I checked the same so <clears throat> um, I'm going to leave it here and for right this minute, we're going to go to AM. I am going to turn the power all the way down. And let's see here. I am going to... Okay. The light is off. The light is on. Oh, yeah. And it is plugged in. Of course, it has to be or the meter doesn't move at all. So there's there's average and there's peak. <clears throat> um, for, for the first key up, we are in AM. We are on AM. The meter is on low. Power setting and I'm going to do the average and remember I'm on AM and I'm on low testing audio 1, 2, 3 audio 1, 2, 3 audio can't even get it to do 20 <clears throat> oh I I never run my radio up any more than three quarters of the way. I don't care what anybody tells me. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I never have with any radio. I don't normally have the mic gain up, but for the purpose of peak on sideband, I did. I don't normally have the mic gain up anywhere than three quarters of the way either. That's who I am. That's how I've been for many, many years, and I'm not changing it. I'm, yeah, unless I'm using your radio, this is how I'm operating my radio there's, that's not up for debate. Um, I've already been told more than once I should do this and I should do that and I should do this and this is how I should operate. No, I'm not doing it that way. Okay, let's get back to the task at hand. Audio. Audio. Almost 30. Now, let's, let's do the peak side. Audio. One, two, three. Now watch this meter. I don't know why it does this. It takes forever to drop back down. Audio. Now, I want to show you something else here on AM. Let's go down about... So we're only putting out a quarter of what it does. Audio. Audio. On my peak, it's still peaking above... We're right at 50. But, so, let's see. When I key up, audio, we okay. So, I don't... I don't understand why it takes so long for the meter to go back down. So we're back on average. I'm just going to do a dead key. That's where the dead key's at. Oh, it's picking up my voice from way over there. Audio. 
<clears throat> now that's in there. <clears throat> Hang on a second here, folks. I gotta get a drink of water. Okay. So, I'm gonna do a dead key. That's where the RF power is. <clears throat> Audio. So now I'm on peak and I'm down at only a fourth of the power. Just under 10. Now I'm at 50%. <clears throat> Just on dead key, this thing's not doing any more than 10. Um, you know, on Sideman, if it swung to 50, I wouldn't really care, but I still don't see why. <laughs> it We couldn't just turn it down from, from you know, 10 to 50 or 52 or whatever it is, watts, on the swing. I mean, why can't we turn that swing down? Even if you can't safely, without hurting the finals, can't pull it up, um, the dead key, and that's fine. I've talked all over the world on a quarter wave antenna and four watts of power on AM with, um, you know, mo with great modulation. So I don't see why. <laughs> I, I, I don't. Anyways, this, this is not about my rant video about, about that because that's a whole nother video. So the meter seems to be working. I'm still getting used to it. Oh. <clears throat> um, I was gonna do. Sorry about that. Hang on a second. I'm keyed up. Power all the way down on FM. And when I turn it all the way up, it only goes up to there, which is fine. Probably since on FM, I know there's no swing, and I get that. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure where to put this RF power at when I'm running an amp. Um, it, it, when I hook up an amp, when it, which is going to be, you know, someday, soon, hopefully I have one. Which is why I started the process of trying to figure out where the RF power was, you know, when I turned it down or whatever. But since it swings forward so far... No matter where the RF power is, it only the RF power seems to only be changing the um, the carrier. So let's go to peak. It's down to here. Let's look at this. We are on. It's hard to see because of the sun. It's hard to see, but I am on upper side band. Um. Audio. One, two, three. And I'm on peak, by the way, the meters. Yep. So let's go to average real quick. Audio. 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 Now where I normally run it. And we'll do peak. Whoops. Oh, my bad. Audio. <laughs> Testing. One, two, three. CQ, CQDX. CQ, CQDX from Northwest Oregon. Yeah. 
when it's on average, it drops down a lot quicker. Okay, so from a curiosity, I don't very rarely do, rarely do I do this, but might gain 100% RF power 100%. Okay, folks. And let's do average first off. CQ, 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 CQDX from Northwest Oregon. CQ, CQ, CQDX from Northwest Oregon. Okay, that's where it's doing <clears throat> on average. Um, somewhere right around the 30 watt range. Now it's on peak. CQ, CQ, CQDX from Northwest Oregon. CQ, CQDX from Northwest Oregon. Uh, audio. So, there it is, folks. I like this meter. It seems to be, um, I can't, I guess that I can't really testify to its accuracy other than when I got the radio from Frank at Blitz uh, CB Radio, I um, he told me what it was doing, and this is, um, yeah, it's like, you know, within a watt or two, <clears throat> and uh, I know from personal experience, um, even good expensive meters, if they haven't all been aligned by the same tech and the same equipment, you know, you can, you can read off one or two Watts, but one or two Watts is not a big deal. I'm not offended by it putting out 50 and being told my, according to my stuff and being told I was doing, you know, 51, but according to this, it's actually doing more than 51. And that's what I was told. Of course, I was told that that's what it was doing on, on sideband. And that's what it was doing on AM for peaks. Um, so that's, um, I'm not complaining about that. I was never complaining about the radio and the wattage it put out. I didn't understand until a few, over the last few months of having this radio. Hang on a second here. I got to do something. I didn't understand until just recently that when looking at a meter to measure power out put that you actually had um, to get a meter that said peak and peak and average. <clears throat> I didn't know that. Um, I've never had <laughs> never had a meter of this magnitude. Um, yes, I know it's MFJ and lots of people say I might find junk. I get that. Um, but it's all I could afford and to be honest <laughs> I uh, <clears throat> just means that it's less of other equipment but I testing equipment is important and considering I've jumped back in here to um, HF 11 meters especially with both feet I am um, I I knew it was time to have something that could measure anyways with that being said life is good um, <clears throat> it is what it is. I, um, I seem, I'm confident and satisfied with the, um, with the meter. My Lincoln is doing great. I don't know what to title this video because it's the first use of my MFJ, um, deluxe peak reading SWR watt meter. It's it's the first you it's well excuse me not the first use it's the first video I'm doing on I actually put it on my 142 really quick back at home um, last week or something but this is what my Lincoln's doing I'm happy with the Lincoln I love the Lincoln um, I'm I'm just uh, I'm caught with the whole uh, um, I said I wasn't gonna get into it I, I'm caught with the whole you know, dead key two watts and swing to 20 on AM. Just go to sideband, key up, and there is no carrier. And when you... Okay, folks. So, yep. Um, bottom... Oh, it wasn't... Well, that sucks. 
I didn't realize it wasn't actually filming what I thought it was filming. So you were just looking at like a blank thing. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm not going to go redo this video. <laughs> but um, final comments on this. Um, I like the meter. I am I'm a, I am happy with the meter. It seems to be doing good. Still learning it. There wasn't a lot of information in the owner's manual. It was like a two-page PDF that I downloaded. Um, doesn't really say a whole lot. You know, a year, one year manufacturer warranty type thing if there's a problem. Um, tells me I have to have it plugged in or you can put a 9 volt battery inside it apparently to, um, in order to have the peak reading. Um, you need, actually in order to have any of it working, I've had to hook it up to power. And I didn't take it apart yet to try to look for, to look to put a 9 volt battery in it. So I've just been plugging it into um, my cluster mess of wires down here in the car which needs to get straightened up. Okay, this video has gone into overtime. Sorry, guys. I try to keep them around 10 minutes. We're at like 15 minutes and actually 16 minutes. Oh, wow. <clears throat> no wonder why my throat's starting to hurt. Okay, God bless. See you later. Remember, let's keep freedom alive. Peace.